and here we have today's project. This is the factory original Miata steering wheel and it is a miserable failure. <laughs> you can see here the rubber has separated from the core of the, the wheel. It does have an airbag um, but we're going to put something different on here today and I'm going to run you through the process of doing that. Okay so you can see where the 10 millimeter bolts came through here, here, there, and down here. Unplug this little wiring harness. It's real easy. You just push the little button tab and it comes off. Um, this other little button thing I got to push and unplug is for the uh, horn. And we'll get to the wiring and all that in a minute. Now, one thing I failed to mention before you start doing this disconnect your battery. This is an airbag here. All right. If you trigger that airbag accidentally, it's going to be a bad day. Disconnect the battery. Very important. All right, let me move on to the next step, which is going to be loosening this guy. Now, this wheel is centered right now, and you can see that it's not centered. Um, I, I don't know how it got messed up, but it did. So, I'm going to check the wheels, make sure they are centered, so when I put the new wheel on, it'll be properly aligned. All right, once the uh, nut here is loose, and this is a 21 millimeter nut, all you're going to do, you're going to leave that nut, thread it on there a few threads. And what you want to do is just come over here and beat back and forth on this and then pull. Oh, look at there. It came right off. All right. Pretty simple. That breaks it loose and gets you to where you can, uh, can pull it. Let me disconnect this horn wire here like that. Finish taking this nut off here. Get the ratchet. Because of course it wants to be a pain. Some of your new wheels will come with a new nut. Some of them, your new wheel installation kits. And some of them will not. So save that for later. Alright, and off it comes. Finish feeding those wires through and you are done. Okay, now this is important. See this little arrow here? That needs to be at the 12 o'clock position. These little nubs are for canceling your blinker. If you have those off center, it's going to mess up how your blinker turnoff function works. So it's important that those be at the 12 and 6 o'clock position. And now I'm going to get the, uh, the new hub adapter and we're going to test fit that. So here's the new hub adapter. It has uh, two sets of screw holes here and here for different steering wheel options. It has this little plate on the back that just snaps on and off. We're going to remove that for this particular installation. All right, and here we are, and here we have the hub without the thing in there. Now, you see the two little holes in the back here. Remember, those have to line up with these nubs. Okay. And I marked the up position with a small piece of tape, which you can see right there. Right there. Okay, but I'm going to have to change that because of the nub positions. Okay, so here it's on. Here is my top position, which is turning out to not be a top position. Um, here is the screw pattern, let's see, that I'm going to be using right there. So let me check the wheel, but I believe that one of those screw holes needs to be at the 12 o'clock position, not at the 11 and 1 o'clock. Okay, I've got the new wheel here, so for illustrative purposes, see, so if I go with the position of the nubs as they are, I'm going to have to do this. My, the wheel will be at a funny little angle, which is not what we want. So how do we fix that? Pull this off. I'm going to have to drill two new nub holes that correspond with the correct correct uh, mounting holes that I want. What I'm going to do is measure and see which of these hole patterns here, and I believe it's the outer one, matches up and then I'll drill a hole here and here to make it work. And here you see the results of the newly drilled holes. Okay, and that will make it where the Blinker timing is set correctly at the 12 and 6 o'clock so that it turns on and off 
as appropriately. Okay, it's a good idea to wipe down this area behind here. It's just, a lot of it's going to be visible now that wasn't visible originally. You want to double check your bolt pattern for the wheel. Okay, you can see they all line up where I want them. So the next thing is going to be dealing with these the wiring harness here and this is also pretty easy there's uh there's only three wires that come up here red and gray and then you have a green with a red tracer the green with the red tracer is for the horn these two the red and the gray are for the airbag now if you don't want your airbag fault light to be blinking you butt connect these two together this you'll connect to the to the horn to ground out for the uh, to make it honk. I'm going to cut the wires and then I'll come back. So see here I nipped off the ends, but let me show you how the horn works. The horn just grounds, and that's what makes it honk. So I'm still going to put this nut back on. You don't want to crank down on this too hard because you'll make the uh, blinker canceling system here make a dragging noise. So you, you're you going to have to play with that just a little bit. And if you get it too tight, just back off on it a little bit. Okay, now what I've done here is just kind of set everything up, mocked it up. I'm going to start the engine, test the blinkers, make sure that the, the, the wheel hub is tight, move it around. And then I'm going to come back and wire the horn and put the little, the little boot cover, which is right here that goes behind the wheel to cover up all that mess. So that is, let me do my uh, quick tests, and then I'll come back to uh, show you the wiring for the horn. All right, so what we have here is my selection of horn buttons. One of them is from a friend, and it's, uh, it's exactly like this one with a different label on it. This one came with a different wheel that I got. They all work the same. You. Uh, you attach a wire here, attach a wire there, run one to ground, one, one to power. This one came with a pretty heavy metal ring. This one came with a kind of a plastic one. This one also came with a little label that you stick on there if you're if you're into that. I'm not really. Um, so kit also came with these wires to uh, to make the connections for the horn. So let me go to the car and show you all how this all kind of goes together. All right, so right off the bat, the non-visually impaired among you are going to notice that this is not the same steering wheel that I started out with. Uh, so the other steering wheel was really kind of flat and too close to the to the uh, stalks this one and the blinker stalk over here I only had about I don't know that much room between them and I liked I liked the small wheel and I liked that grippy grippy leather that was on it but it was small and it blocked it blocked my view of the gauges up here I could only see the like this much of the gauges so this is the same size as the factory steering wheel. It's leather wrapped and uh, it is uh, dished so that it sticks out. And this is really nice. This worked good. So what I did was I had a buddy that had this wheel, brand new, that he had bought to use on something and never did. And uh, he wanted that other wheel, so I traded him straight across for it. So the, and you can see I've got the trim ring on here now to hide the, uh, the adapter plate. So... What you do to, to install the horn button, like this one, is you take these screws out so that the wheel is off, put the horn button up there, and then put the wheel on. I'm not going to uh, do it. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or use the other one. If I use this one, let me show you. If I use this one, I don't want to put that little sticky decal that says drift on there. I will probably put this watch on there. So that ends up right in the middle thusly. I don't know. I'll figure it out here in a minute, but it, it's pretty simple. Um, on the back, you're going to put one wire here, one wire here. One wire goes to the, the horn wire, which remember, if, you, if I ground this, it horn. You can hear it honking. Okay. Um, 
The other one I'll connect up under the wheel here. I'll just take the the flat side of it and stick it between the the wheel and the uh, thing like that. Problem solved. But uh, let me get that together here real quick and I'll be right back. And here's the finished product. So I have choices. I can uh, put the little sticker that came with it on there. Or to keep track of what I like to keep track of, I can stick that on there. And it works still. Just give me some double-sided sticky tape and I'll be set. So I'll figure that out, but that completes the install on the steering wheel. Remember, when you are tightening down these outer screws, they are just going into aluminum. Don't get crazy tightening them down. I didn't use the trim ring that came with it because I didn't like how it looked. And the other trim ring, the bigger, heavier one, the metal one, was even more so. I didn't care for it. I like that flat surface there. These will come with short screws and long screws. Use the long screws. You want as much thread through that aluminum adapter as you can get. It's also a good idea. I didn't do it yet. I'll go back and do it because I'm going to run this for a few days with this button like it is and see how I feel about it. And uh, I may come back and, and add one of the trim rings or not. I'm going to try it out like it is to see uh, how it works for me. And uh, after that, I will come back and put blue Loctite on these screws and uh, tighten them down again. Um, in the meantime, while you're trying to sort through all that, be sure and carry the little hex wrench in case these screws come loose. You don't want to be driving around with these screws loose. You will strip the holes that they go into. All right. Um, that's it. So that completes the video on how to install a steering wheel in a Miata. This will transfer over to most cars. Um, you just, just got to adapt certain things. Some cars will have two wires for the horn, a positive and a negative. Um, it, it just varies with, with the application. So I hope this was useful to you guys. Y'all be safe, and I will see you again soon.